Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. In this video, we'll be learning about the natural environment. The natural environment. Any place, any city, any country, any region will have its own natural resources. Companies, they are highly dependent on these natural resources and upon the natural environment because the natural environment will be one of the key factor where the company will decide how and when and where to market their products or services. These constitute the natural environment. Business firms, they depend on natural resources. The extent to which the country region under the reference is endowed with these resources has an impact on the functioning of the companies also. If you talk about the raw materials, it will be a major part of these resources because the companies, they need raw materials like coal, petroleum, wood and other things for their day-to-day -day activities. They also need to know the trends governing their cost. Besides raw material, they are also concerned about the energy, its availability as well as the cost. Escalations in energy cost are of particular concern to any company. Let us talk about ecology. Ecology is derived from a Greek word and it is the scientific study of the distribution, abundance and relationships of organism and their interaction with the environment. Companies, they are concerned with ecology. In modern times, all societies are very much concerned about ecology, especially about the issues like environmental pollution, protection of wildlife and ocean wealth. Government agencies, they are now more active participators in environmental issues. Companies, they will have to know the nature and the dimension of the environmental regulations and to what extent these factors will affect their business prospects. Ecology includes the study of plant and animal population, plant and animal communities and ecosystems. Ecosystems describe the web or network of relation among organisms at different scales of organization. If you talk about herbal beauty products and homeopathic medicine companies, they are highly dependent on ecosystem or ecology. Climate. Climate is another aspect of natural environment that is of interest to a business company. Firms with product whose demand depends on climate and firms depending on the climate dependent raw materials will be particularly concerned with this factor. These companies, they have to study the climate in depth and decide their production location and marketing territories appropriately. In case of India, the country is rich in natural resources like iron, coal, rare minerals, ocean wealth, etc. The country also receives good rainfall and has a strong network of rivers. As regards climate, the tropical climate in the country generally favors the agriculture and the industry. Let us see some of the natural environment factors that affect the business. Companies in industrial or manufacturing industry often work with different kinds of equipment, machinery and chemical producing agents. These machinery and these chemical producing agents, they in some of the other way, they affect the environment. They degrade the quality of the soil and many times huge forests they are being cut down. In effect, a business day-to-day -day operation can pose an ongoing threat to the natural environments. And that is why there has to be some governing body which has to monitor these activities of the companies. Let us see these natural environments that affect the business. First is the environmental regulations. Regulating business activities is one of the key factor that government agencies used to protect the environment. Businesses, they must meet certain standards to do their business that will help to reduce any adverse effect that might be because of their company's activities. As a result, natural environment factors such as clean water and clean air, they dictate how companies conduct their day-to-day -day operations. Then second is the permit requirements. Companies involved in the activities that impact their surrounding environment typically have to file for operating permits. Business permit requirements enable government agencies to regulate and keep track of business activities. These permits serve different purposes, some of which include setting minimal standard for any air emission or dictating certain procedure for handling waste and hazardous material. Then comes the compliance requirement. 
Natural environment factors affect a business operation as well as its ability to expand or take on new operations. And that is why companies must comply with environmental regulations in all stages of business development. Companies that are considering purchasing a building should ensure the building conforms to environmental regulation or risk paying the penalties for non-compliance. Then lastly, it is environmental contaminants. Companies that work with hazardous materials on a regular basis have certain responsibilities when it comes to ensuring contaminants don't reach or affect the natural environment. If they are disposing their contaminated material into the river that is used for drinking water by a village, then there will be serious consequences. The Comprehensive Environmental Response Compensation and Liability Act holds that the business owners should be liable for the activities that contaminate surrounding air, soil or water supplies. This law even applies for new business owners who knowingly or unknowingly purchase a contaminated site or purchase an operation that fails to meet the compliance standard. And that is how government is effectively putting that these companies that, that are operating with the hazardous materials, they should not dispose their hazardous material in the rivers or in the soil used for drinking purposes or cultivation. Thank you for watching. I'll be meeting you in the next video.